so what is going on everybody welcome to your 20th react js tutorial in which i'm gonna implement a little more logic to our game and fix some things so first of all to fix the thing of overriding others move what we can do is uh, we can actually just inside our click event we can check if the inner text of that particular um, div we clicked is uh, empty or not and if it is empty then it's a valid move it's not empty then it's okay just kill that but i guess we can do it in a more efficient way you can say i don't know it in a more kind of state stateful way i'd rather say by creating an instance of the board itself inside javascript right that's what pretty much essentially react is doing with the dom right it's just creating a copy of the dom itself in the javascript and it just pretty much messes up with the copy in the javascript and does not touch the original dom because it's expensive and uh, uh, it just updates whenever it needs to right so we're going to implement a pretty much similar logic so we're going to do uh, board and we're going to say array of uh, how many elements we need nine and uh, we can just fill it with uh, nothing right and uh, yeah inside our click event what we're gonna do we have to get the index of the div which we have clicked now we can actually do that with javascript and even in one liner with jquery but uh, i guess a more easy and friendly approach would be to assign some sort of data with uh, um, every div we have right here right so what we can do is if I can get it right we can say data um, square uh, we can say this is one obviously I don't want that for everything right so let me just get that to two three four five or rather we should start with zero because anyhow we'll just need to increment or decrement that later so we can just start with zero one two three four five six seven eight like that and uh, inside here what we can do is uh, we can say board or rather we can just say that uh, this dot state dot board is uh, event dot target dot data set dot uh, square is equal to this dot state dot uh, dot right so i know i'm just modifying state right there and uh, that's not very reactive but uh, we can just do now board this dot state dot board right because essentially we are just eventually calling the set state method in the next line so i guess that should be fair enough so yeah now we can just console log this dot state dot board as well just in case if you want to see so if i click on here we get x and if i click on here we get o in the last one and like that and there we go we can see all the nine squares are filled now and we have a representation of this three cross three matrix or you know this board right here in form of a array right or uh, array as people say <laughs> okay so yeah now essentially what we need to do to prevent something like this from happening this right we just need to say that uh, if um this dot state dot board this thing right there exist or rather we can just do something like this or this or whatever 
then only we want to do this thing right otherwise just silently die out so if i click on x and if i click on it again you can see that it does not update now and it does not change to o so that's pretty good and yeah so now when we have our board as well with us so it would be simple for us to you know calculate who's the winner and when the game has ended right so yeah that is all for this one and if you liked it then don't forget to subscribe and thank you for watching i'll see you then in the next one